Hi guys, it's Alona here. Welcome to the Reading Project. Today we're going to read the story about a young girl journey, Ida and her friend the whale. Ida and the whale by Rebecca Guger and Simon Rothlisberger. There was once a little girl named Ida who lived in a birch tree. She had yellow rubber boots and red hair. Ida often sat high up outside her tree house, wondering what lay beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars. One night the tree house suddenly began to shake. It shook so hard that her bed began to slide here, there, and everywhere. What was happening? Wow! Outside was a gigantic flying whale. Why are you waking me in the middle of the night? asked Ida, still half asleep. Would you like to come with me on a journey beyond the stars? asked the friendly whale. What an adventure! Of course Ida wanted to go with him. In a flash she had climbed the ladder, and then the two of them flew up and up toward the world beyond. As they flew through the middle of a thick curtain of clouds, they talked about all kinds of things, big and little, ordinary and special, known and unknown. They soon reached a very strange place. Everything seems to be upside down. What was the top and what was the bottom? So now what is normal? asked the whale. Sometimes you can only understand others if you stand on your head yourself. They flew upside down until they came to a beautiful green place that was full of sweet scents. Why is the flower flying away? asked Ida. So that it can grow again, like the rest of us, said the whale. Some quicker, some slower, but all of us grow. Suddenly, thunder rumbled softly, but then it became louder and louder. More and more clouds began to pile up, and dazzling flashes of lightning shot out of them. The storm was wild and violent, and left nothing untouched. I'm glad there are two of us, thought Ida. Slowly the storm calmed down, and then everything was still and empty. Ida looked around. Just wait and then look again said the whale. Sometimes there is more to see than you think. Ida listened to the silence for quite a while and suddenly she felt lonely and a long way from home. She was so small and so alone. Where was her friend? The whale gave Ida a nudge. Why are you so sad, my little friend? he asked. I'm right here. Sometimes it's nice to share a silence. Sometimes you can even lose sight of each other. But you are still close, together, always. Ida's loneliness flew far away. I love you, my flying giant, whispered Ida as the two of them said goodbye. See you soon, they shouted to each other and the whale disappeared behind the trees. The end. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful story. If you want to listen to other stories, please join our channel. Bye!